Hey everyone, welcome to Girls Game Shelf. I'm Anna Maria, and today we're going to be talking about Roar and Right. Now, this is a new Roll and Write game. It's a push your luck one from Galactic Raptor. And if you're a fan of Animal Kingdoms, there's a little bonus here because you'll notice that the art is pretty much the same from game to game. So we're going to take a dive into this, but keep in mind, my copy is a prototype, so it may vary a little bit in the finished product. Begin the game by choosing the animal card that will serve as the council for the game. There are multiple of each animal type card, so just draw one at random for each according to your chosen setup difficulty. There's three difficulties to choose from, so we're going to go with the hard setup here. Put the dice within reach. Each player needs a pencil, a score sheet, and a goal card. This will be personal to them. The game is played over five ages. To begin an age, roll all six dice. All players may now individually choose dice to keep from the shared pool. You may add as many dice to your council offering spaces, and you can add up to one unkept dice to one of the kingdom spaces per its instructions at the top of your scorecard. If you want to add more dice to the kingdom area, you can, if you can sacrifice a space on the council offering by Xing it out. Then roll the dice again and repeat the process. Then roll a third time and repeat the process again. There's a point bonus for filling in your council offering spaces on the first or second roll, but if you run out of spaces, don't worry. You can still use one of those die up in your kingdom area. You just can't use multiples because there's no spaces for you to put X's in anymore. At the end of the age, you may choose one of the five animal council member cards by assigning their letter to your score sheet. Which one you choose dictates how the round is scored for you. This red panda scores you 12 points for five of a kind, while this tiger doles out fewer points, but just wants you to have kept even numbers. You're free to score the same animal each turn, but there's a point bonus at the end of the game for having picked different animals across the ages. There are two other end game scoring bonuses. First, the kingdom spaces. If you filled in a whole kingdom at the top of your board, you'll get the listed number of points. The other is that personal goal card you got at the beginning of the game. On your card, there are two parts to every goal an individual die facing that you'll score points the more you kept in your council offering spaces, and two other die faces that you'll score for each pair you kept in your council offering spaces. And that's the game. Add up your points and see who's the monarch of the animal kingdom. Now there's a solo version included, and this is one of those roll and writes that can go up to as many players as you want to play with. So absolutely give it a check out. And thanks for checking it out with me. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit like and subscribe below, and we'll see you next time. Bye.